Welcome back to CONCACAF Gold Cup Group A coverage. San Francisco, beautiful sight, and Jamaica hoping for a beautiful finish to Group A play. You look back to the first match against the US, 1-0 up, they had the penalty, could have made it too. Ultimately settled for a point, but what it does mean is, in terms of points to level with the US coming into today, it's going to be all about the goals scored today in this one. Yeah, and as I touch on keeper, the front four, they're as good as anything, and there'll be a little bit of it listening to what's happening with the US and Trinidad, but business first for them, for the Jamaicans. I'm Ashraf Bey, Adonai, Escobedo. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are underway. The final match of Group A. Both matches, as you always have in the group stages, kicking off simultaneously. We will keep you updated on the US. We're trying to leave that space in behind. And the space in behind here. Paris gets beyond the fullback, and the free kick's actually going to go against Jamaica. Raheem Paris looked like he got wrong side for a moment. But Hanley wins the free kick. But that's the other way. And they played themselves into trouble. Bell. With win back by Tequani. Make it looking to utilize the full squad. Antonio trying to show his pace. But that's the Everton man over this one. What a very good delivery. I mean, he's going about keep. You know, he'd be delighted with his team so far. The way they've come in and the way that they've performed. This is a test where you your good turn. Gets his cross in. Three in the area. Well, too, but may not drag that one on a one on one situation. And Mari Sterling James, he is good 1v1, he tries to go inside it. Not to be there. Bell, left foot of delivery. And that one cleared to the edge. Pulls that back central. Sawyer's long range hit, and uh, after what we saw yesterday, Warren, yeah. <laughs> you never know. That one took a deflection. Johannes Mitchum with the hit. Not if quite Guadalupe level shit. One played forward by Lemba Kisa. Another ball into the area. Antonio just took too long. It should be a, a little bit more comfortable for these players. We see yesterday with the, the heat, the quarterfinals. The US with the Mario Gray, edge of the penalty area, that takes a deflection, and that took the sting off the effort. He put his hand up straight away because he could have done a little reverse pass as the defender's got you know, energy, then you get some momentum in the game. Here's the, the live standings with the US in for Antonio, looking for the runner and way too much on it. Lata Bader was the one. Run down the middle now, Paris. This is better football. Get out onto his right foot. He just didn't get his body enough around it. And as you rightly said, Archibald, he's back four. Be happy to say strike from there because it have to be some strike to beat him in goal. He just cuts across it, trying to bend it with his right foot in the corner, but just gets too much underneath the ball. Demani Archibald getting a little bit of attention to his right leg. In goals. Oh, that's where the ball in behind doesn't well because he was under pressure. Cross him from Bailey, and that one cleared Williams from underneath his own crossbar. And that's what Bailey Don played in behind, and well, Archibald's going to be comfortable. And, and there's a, so he has to make a decision. He's been really a spectator so far in the game. There's only a couple of yards off his line. The defensive line, a little bit deeper than we're used to seeing, inviting the pressure. Very good delivery. Bailey with the chance, cross towards the far post, and it's off the goalkeeper off the post, and somehow cleared, although the goal is given. We'll take your pick on who put it over the line. Either way, Jamaica have that all-important opening goal. Well, that is counter attack at his best, and that's what they needed. You know, they've gone forward and kicks, good goalkeeping, and then once Gray got it, and that running behind, I said about Bailey, taking that chance. They needed the space. This is where it all starts from. They're out of shape at the moment. So it's just, but what's the end? It just relieve a lot of pressure for the Jamaican players, because they were just getting to that stage 30 minutes, 35 minutes, or even if they got to half-time and it was nil-nil. You do, it's a natural reaction, start getting a bit good. Paris busting to get into the area, they get a little bit fortunate. Archibald just trying to get it out of there, but we've seen quite clearly the ball went over the line. And he's, he's getting, well, do you, you say the credit, Jelani Archibald? He, sure he won't want credit it. You get, I'm not going to yeah. tell him, he's six foot four and about 300 pounds, so I'm not going to tell him that it was, it was down to him. Yeah, it is an own goal, and um, a little bit like that opener inside the area, twisting and turning on his weaker right foot. Cross comes in, Bray, and he's got. Bailey central, Bray pulls it across, Bailey 2-0. The two that made the first goal combined for the second. The flag has gone up for... Is anybody? It's the first one. First one. And we're going to bring in Fox Sports rules analyst, uh, Mark Lambert. Mark, what did you make of that one? Yeah, the assistant referees are encouraged now. To side. Bailey tries to find him, and it's off the defender oh. and out of play. Almost on a second own goal. Somersault with the interception. But there's the blueprint, you know, make that little run in behind. Or an is, he's used Ferreira. Going to hat trick against St. Kitts last time out, and he's got a double. Well, if he does, they're going to leave that space in behind, and that's where Antonio wants the ball, that's where Bailey, that Gray, they, they all want the ball. 
behind the centre half. Bernard has come forward. Antonio, an obvious threat. And over there, central as well. Chipped in, header. Went over the line. The whole ball went over the line. There's Antonio trying to get in there, trying to desperately keep it off the line, but there's no doubt we had a better angle that it went in. And you'd expect them for Jamaica to go on more. Big gap for him to aim into. But Maynard meets a good defensive Over the top is Leon Bailey on side here. Flag stays down. Bailey, Lemba Kisa. Flag is up. Another one that will be looked at. It's the initial pass to Leon Bailey. Bailey, lovely little back heel. It's Russell, it's 2-0. Jonathan Russell scores his first international goal for Jamaica. And on the stroke of halftime, the reggae boys double their delight in Santa Clara tonight. They lead 2-0, and it was a gorgeous build-up play and finish. First half, however, they have conceded twice. Now then, they could get a chance to get one back here. This is a chance! Ball played in behind, Bernard on the turn. What a finish! The centre back took that like a centre forward. Certainly not how the free kick was scripted, but it fell to Bernard, and he absolutely smashed that one home. 3 0 Jamaica. I mean, look at the smile of all the players. I mean, he's obviously well liked, the young player, and big centre half goes up. It wasn't off the training ground, it wasn't one, but they improvised very well, and he finished it very well. And it smiles all round. First international goal, like Russell. <laughs> And making it to the Gold Cup, Bollybrook making a run, ball towards the far post, the goalkeeper spills it, and Johnson smashes the rebound home. So I said it's over, but immediately Jamaica get their fourth of the day. They're just a desire from the Jamaican players, you know, they win the ball, and Johnson's had a, a big impact coming on, and that's what you want from your subs, and it's, it's hard for the coach, you know, and you feel for him, and jubilation of getting there to their first Gold Cup is great, but then yes, so. Come on, Nicholson, and that cross takes a deflection, broke on the turn, it's another goal. And now they're going to make it interesting. I told you we want to come in and make an impact. And there's a lot of time, you know, there's still time to go. Let me guess. Found it.